Roger. Over. Yeah, it's quiet. Too quiet. Scary. Out. Who's there? Take it easy, huh? Come on out of there. Hold it. What are you guys doing out in the woods? We're replacements for dog company. Just took a shortcut. What's your names and serial numbers? Joe Winston, 311-56628. Marvin Kadensky, 545-72369. What's the sweat? Didn't they tell you guys to stay on the road? That was a couple extra miles. Just took a shortcut. You jerks want to stay alive. You better keep out of these woods. The crowds have been infiltrating all through here. A dog company's about a half mile... <laughs> Danke. Jerk. Noch nicht. Right, uh... Yes. And come out where I can see you. All right, all right, we're coming out right now. Speak pretty good English for a crowd. What do they got? Special schools for you guys? I suppose you know who won the World Series and all hey, that. You're not gonna fool anybody with that routine. Let's go. Wait a minute. You mean you're not a? <laughs> I thought. The... Get him up on your head. Look, I thought you were an infiltrator. That's why I shot at you. We were just jumped by a bunch of Germans in GI uniforms. I thought you were with them. Yeah, I know all about it. It's the truth. I'm not a German. I'm with Able Company, Weapons Platoon. The name's Driscoll, Carl Driscoll. 363-27448. I'm from Cleveland, for Pete's sake. Let's move out. Well, you listen to me. Look, if you're not a crowd... Now, listen to you, G2. Now, get that belt off you and move out. Hold it! 
Drop that gun. through the woods when we got hit. I think he was one of them. I didn't shoot anybody. I got separated from my squad. I was trying to get back to them when this guy almost picked me off. He's lying. He could be. But on the other hand, so could you. Look, I got a patrol laying dead out there, shot by people claiming to be something they're not. Now, I don't know which of you is telling me the truth or if you're both bloody liars. There's one way to find out. Take us back to our lines. I, I intend to do that. But you understand this. As far as I'm concerned, you're both Jerry's. And I'm not a bit shy about shooting you in the back. Now, you lose your gear. How do we know you're not a crowd yourself? You don't. Well, am I glad to see you guys. Get him up. He's over there. Hey, what's going on around here? I ask him. I suppose you're a Yank, too, like these two fellas. He thinks we're both German infiltrators. And he's right about one of us. 
Hey, look, I don't know these guys, and I'm no kraut. My name's Dick Johnson. Look at my dog tags. Okay, so I speak a little German. That don't prove nothing. A lot of guys can do the same thing. Look, I didn't know who was shooting at me. Hey, English. Hold out your hands. Huh? Hold out your hands. Both of them. Handcuffs in the dirt. They belong to you, don't they? All right, I was in a little trouble and they were bringing me in when we got hit. And your name's not Johnson either. This fella is missing his tags. My name's Roberts, Marty Roberts. I, oh, my dog tags are in my pocket. Look, I, I got drunk last night in the village a couple miles down. I got in a fight and hit a sergeant. They turned me over to those guys. When we got hit, I saw that they were dead, and I, I figured I'd take off, get back to my own unit, and no one would be the wiser. Hey, you can't blame me for not wanting to get court martialed, can you, huh? I mean, that's the truth, so help me. Why'd you switch the tags? Well, I, uh... Never mind, I don't believe you anyway. If you are Yanks, which I doubt, you got nothing to lose by coming back as my prisoners. Besides, you got no choice. do that for? If I don't have it, you won't jump me for it. Here. Look, I don't trust you any more than I do them. Only with your leg, I figure you'll be a lot easier to handle. Now get going. That way. Wait a minute. The lines are more over this way. What lines? The American lines. We moved up two days ago. He's gonna walk us right into the Germans. That's just great. Yeah, you'd really hate that, wouldn't you? Get going. Tell me. The guy with the gun. The 
How much further we got to go? We should have been back at our lines before this. He's been walking us around in circles. What are you looking for, one of your crowd patrols? <laughs> I'll give you one thing. You're all putting on a good axe. What's your name? Kirby. What offer are you with? Why don't you trust me? That's pretty funny coming from you two guys. Oh, yeah, it's a riot, Mr. Innocent. Come on. We gotta get going. Come on. Crossroad. I'll be able to see you, so don't get cute. Get it. I'm not helping any German escape. Yeah, well, how do you know he's what he says he is? Oh, he's a me, all right. Look, I don't care if you're all crowds. All I want is out now. How about it? No deal. Why not? A couple of good reasons. I don't trust him or you either. I got a rim just to... Get up on your feet! Get up! Now, what's going on? They couldn't agree on which way to cut your throat. Okay, Kirby. Now I know where you stand. Good. Because you try that again, I'll bust your head. Get going. watching you three in daylight. All right, let's move out and keep it low.
like you. Here. Like that. Give us a hand, will you? You come in here first. He's hit bad. Come on. I said you come in here first.
We got to get out of here. Look, let us help you, English. Those shots could have been heard a long way from here. Let me ask you something. If we get hit again, who's going to use that gun of yours? for the books. Nobody trusts nobody. What a war. What a war. Three against one and not one of us will help the other. You know what I think? I think you're all nuts. Hey, I mean, we're all wearing the same uniform, right? We all speak the same language, right? We're probably all on the same side, except, except we're too stupid to realize it. Hey, look. You're safe now, right? Why don't you let us cut out of here and we'll send you some help? Nobody trusts nobody. should know who his enemy is. It's just not right when a man can come up to you friendly like and blow your head off. There was a poster in my barracks. It said, know your enemy. It's a picture of a soldier with red eyes, fangs for teeth, the whole bit. But let me tell you something. If he hadn't been wearing a German helmet or a swastika on his arm, I'd have sworn it was my Uncle Max from Cleveland. That where you're from? Yeah. Yeah, I had an auto shop on Delcy Street. Where are you from, Roberts? California, San Diego. You ever been there? No. Oh. A sweet place. I ran a bookie joint. What a racket. I used to live off the suckers and lay around in the sun all day and do nothing. <laughs> ah, that's the life. That's where you learn all your German, huh? You never give up, do you? I learned it from my grandmother. She was from the old country. Look, no use holding grudges. We're gonna need each other. What do you think it was? Survival. I retreated. I told you we were outnumbered 50 to 1. It was suicide this day. Our lieutenant was nuts. You're going to have to convince the court martial, not me. I'll tell you one thing, Kirby. I ain't going to take any bum rap for staying alive. 
Ain't going back. to gamble on you. I can't keep awake any longer. I have no choice. Wait a minute, you don't understand. My name is Dorfman, Hans Dorfman. Deutsche Saboteur. Dein Commander. Over his vehicles. Du next? Nein! Your friend here. He says he too is an infiltrator. I believe him. See? But I don't believe him. I think he's a coward. He would say anything to save his life. Wait a minute, you gotta believe me. If you kill me, you're killing a German. You deserve to die in better company. Well, why take the chance? He may be telling the truth. Don't move. Drop the gun. Over there, with the others. Wait a minute, he's a German. Yeah, he's an infiltrator. They're lying. They're the infiltrators. I swear it. They killed him. They were our prisoners. That's why they're handcuffed. He's lying. He killed them. Then why are you two handcuffed? Oh, brother, you want the long version or the short one? I want the truth. The Englishman took us all prisoner this morning. The Germans have been infiltrating his GIs, and he didn't know who was who. When he got wounded, he gave his weapon to the wrong man. You were attacked by the men outside? That's right. Can't you see their line? Look. The Tommy and I were taking them back to our lines when we got ambushed. And we took refuge in here. When he was hit, they jumped him. Well, they would have killed me, too, if I hadn't got the gun away from them. Look, I don't know who you believe. But if you want to stay alive, don't let him get close to you. I cannot tell who is lying. All right. It will be dawn soon. I will take you to the Americans. They will find the truth. That's great. Here we go again. You two, sit down over there. You. from the underground? Might as well get some sleep. Are you kidding? Hey, hey, uh, you know something I had you figured all along? Stop pretending. Hey, wait a minute. Maybe I am on your side, but what are we gonna, what are we gonna do now? I mean, am I getting out of this jam? 
nothing. You stupid crowd. You don't know which side to jump on, do you? He'll cut your throat if he gets a chance. And you wouldn't, huh? No, I guess you wouldn't. You knew I wasn't a German, yet you... You tried to talk him out of killing me, even though you knew you'd get it. Do me a favor, will you, Roberts? What? Just shut up and go to sleep. Hey, Frenchie. I wouldn't close your eyes if I were you. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. to leave. On your feet. It's still dark. Only for a short while. Time's running out, huh? Come, we go now. I'm sorry, I couldn't believe you before. Go that way, circle around. You'll find your lines. I'll hold them off. But you... Go quickly! Like we lost it. I've had a curvy. And now I can't go any further. Come on. Gotta keep moving. Hey. Hey. It's a farmhouse down here. Maybe we can find something to bust these cuffs open with. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Try to keep this press on it tight enough to... Hold it bleeding down, son. Okay. Thanks, Kirby. We'll have to head south, get back to our lines. I'm not going back with you, Kirby. You hear me? Yeah, I hear you. I told you I'm not taking a bum rap. You know what happens to me if I go back? I get shot for desertion. So I'm taking off alone and you're not gonna stop me. I'm not gonna try to stop you, but I'll tell you something. You're wrong. You're wrong when you're deserted and you're wrong now. About the only chance you got is to go back and face up to that. Well, that's easy for you to say. Sure, but it's the truth. Take my chance. You won't make it 50 yards. Okay, Kirby. You win. Welcher Mauer? Da drüben. Wer da? Ich sehe es. What are you doing? Saving my skin. Now you stay here. I got a chance to count them if they don't see you. Are you crazy? I got more of a chance staying alive with them than with you. Maybe I can get away later. Even if I don't, I'd rather sit in one of their prisons than face a firing squad. You stay put. It won't work. Mein Deutsche. Mein Name ist Dorfmann. Bin verwundet. Saboteur.
up with you? Yeah. One of them's a GI. Shh. It was in the under. He's talking German. He's one of those stinking infiltrators. The one get over. You must have shown Schaffen is not so weit. Help him. Got separated. Yeah. What's your name and serial number? Kirby, fourteen thirty-two seventy-two thirty. I'm from B Company. Hey, Mac. This one's still alive. I told you I was going back, Kirby. Yeah, I know, Marty. You told me. What about him? It's a long story. <laughs> 